Hey everybody, Rick Needham and Handicapping. We're a red racing on Saturday afternoon, March 12th, and this is my Echo Base Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. A lot of stake races on the cards uh, this afternoon, including three from Gulfstream Park. And by the way, if you download my selections from Aqueduct on the TrackMaster.com website, I have handicapped in detail all three of those major stake races. One of which, of course, involves Uncle Mo, the early morning line favorite to win this year's Kentucky Derby. Let's go to Aqueduct first for their featured race 9, 5 p.m. Eastern post time for the Kings Point Handicap. Nine furlongs on Aqueduct's winter, winterized inner dirt track, three-year-olds and up, race for $65,000. Contenders number 6, Inherit the Gold. Number 4, You Want a Twist. Number 1, Mine Over a Matter. And number 5, Spa City Fever. Just a quick for your information, folks. Inaugurated in 1981, the King's Point Handicap is named for residential a village in Nassau County on the north shore of Long Island that is home for the United States Merchant Marine Academy. Here in the 31st renewal of the stakes event for New York Breads, number six inherit the gold is the overall speed and pace profile leader in the stakes field. Racing at nine furlongs on the dirt, drops in class by three units, has hit the board in five straight, winning four times, including back to back to back power run wins in his last three starts. Number four, uh, you want a twist, the morning line favorite, comes off a power run win his last time out. Race 9 summary, number 6, Inherit the Gold, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 4, You Want a Twist, number 1, Mine Over Matter, number 5, Spa City Fever, 6415, and the ninth today from Aqueduct, the $65,000 Kings Point Handicap. Let's go to Gulfstream Park for the first of three big stake races on the card this afternoon. 4.25 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Timely Rider Stakes. Mile test on the dirt. Three-year-olds racing for $100,000. Contenders number one, Uncle Mo. Number six, Rattlestake Bridge. Number three, Madman Diaries. And number four, Rocking Out. Number one, Uncle Mo, this year's undefeated juvenile champion, makes his debut as a three-year-old today, is currently the odds-on favorite to win this year's Kentucky Derby. Yes, his connections have urged for this ungraded stakes test as a workout for the upcoming Wood Memorial at Aqueduct for his Derby Prep Challenge. He holds a remarkable speed advantage on this field, winning each of his two-year-old tests in power run fashion by an average of some seven lengths. I guess my worry here that he hasn't raced in 125 days, but the speed advantage should override any or ring rust. Jockey Johnny Velasquez was in his irons for those three win, those three wins last season. He's back today here at Gulfstream for his fourth ride, gunning for a Grand Slam win. Number six, Rattlesnake Bridge, a five to one shot, has won both of his two career starts, including a power run win to break his maiden in his first asking. Race number eight, summary, number one, Uncle Mo, tops my contenders list, which also includes number six, Rattlesnake Bridge, number three, Madman Diaries, and number four, Rockin' Out, one, six, three, four, in the eighth from Gulfstream Park, the $100,000 Timely Rider Stakes. As noted earlier, uh, I have also handicapped on my Aqueduct report the Palm Beach Stakes, $150,000 grade three event here at Gulfstream, and also the big Gulfstream Park handicap, $300,000 on the line. Bonus long shots for you to ponder on a Saturday. Let's go to Charlestown first. Race number four, the five to one shot. Number 11, Case Notes, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, drops in class by seven units. Nice overall speed for this short four and a half for a long sprint. Staying in West Virginia, Mountaineer Park, race number four. Number three, Cole City, a four to one shot. Takes a big class drop of some 25 Trackmaster units. It's the speed leader in this maiden field, sprinting at or about tonight's distance, five and one half furlongs on the dirt. So on a Saturday afternoon, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, handicapping stake races from both Aqueduct and Gulfstream Park, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.